Hi, this is Knee Rehab Level 2. So hopefully you've followed Level 1 and your knee isn't feeling too bad. It needs to just get a little bit more strengthening in a multi-directional kind of world. So I'm going to use this um, stretchy band here. This is a blue one. It's a really tough one. You can use a green or a red that's just a little level below and I'll put a link in the bio to how to get hold of one of those. I've just got it attached to the bottom of my physio bed here, but you can attach it onto the bottom of a chair. Um, I'm going to be using that in a little bit. There's a wobble cushion, which again you can get hold of really easily. You can use a BOSU. All of these things are going to be available in the gym. So BOSU is a better option for this, but a wobble cushion is something that you can get at home. Um, and the Swiss ball, which you may or may not have at home, but they must have in the gym. Um, so that's something that you can use when you get there. Okay, so I'm going to show you to start with what to do with the band. Um, just to level on from the exercises that we've done um, in previous times. So we're just going to bring the leg um, into here um, and I want it behind the knee. So we're going to do some doing some exercises where we're bending and straightening through the knee. So you have to use that VMO that we've talked about before, the vastus medialis oblique, which is a muscle that controls that kneecap. So we're pushing back against it, tightening up through the thigh, really pushing and straightening out that knee. Then we're going to come and move around 45 degrees. I'm going to have to put this leg out of the way here somewhere. Now that's going to throw you off a little bit, bending and straightening. I've got my bands attached a little bit low here. If you can attach them about knee height, that would be a little bit better, but you're trying to keep that knee outwards. The band is wanting to pull the knee in. You're having to keep the knee out and you're having to work through the foot quite a lot to control that motion. Um, we're going to be facing away. Adjust the band a little bit around the front of the kneecap. If you open the band out, it's not going to cause any problems to the kneecap there. And this is a little bit different. You have to bend the knee against the resistance. Um, control the amount of resistance by moving away a little bit there. So bending through the knee is perhaps one of the easier ones. There. A couple more. And then the last direction here. I'm just going to move it up a little bit around the inside of the knee. And now you're having to work to stop the knee being drawn outwards. Good. Using the tummy, trying to keep the hips level. Good. And push the knee straight and tighten up through the thigh each time. Good. I'd like 10 in each direction, which is about what we've done there. Always worth swapping legs as well. So I'm going to demonstrate again on the other leg. I'm going to bend and straighten, pushing and straightening out the knee into the band each time. Squeezing your glutes, tightening up through that thigh. Good. And then rotate 45 degrees and same again. This is where the knee is wanting to be pulled out in that direction. to get that multi-directional 3D idea of what's happening. So bring the band over the front of the knee there, bending and straightening, keeping those hips level. This is where I lose the band coming down a little bit. Maybe up above the kneecap there would be a good idea. Good, squeezing the glutes, using your tummy. And this is one of the most important ones here, bring the leg up in front and stop the knee being pulled inwards. So many knee problems come from the knee being pulled in through weakness in the glutes. So you want to constantly draw that knee outwards, rotate the knee out. Just a couple more of those. Brilliant. And then taking the band off. I'm just gonna show you how to do some exercises without the, um, the wobble board to start with just lunging in different directions and to the back and then the other leg forwards sideways and backwards another set of those you can pause the video and do multiple reps of these you can slow it down sideways and back one more each side Sideways, back, forwards, sideways, back. Let me show you how to do it on here. Might be best just to go forwards and backwards to start with. Place that foot on, 
We're just going forwards into a lunge, push off, and then to a backwards lunge. Forwards, push off, and backwards. You need to be up on the toes when you go backwards. Forwards, you really need to be able to trust the knee at this point. Both knees, in fact, that we're working here. Forwards, backwards, okay, other side. Forwards, so no matter which knee it is, you want to do both sides on this one. Forwards, come on the toes as you come back. Forwards, come on the toes as you come back. Forwards, good. One more. Brilliant. Okay. Again, like I say, pause the video, have a few more attempts at those. Just going to bring the Swiss ball in. So a lot of that work that we've done so far has been working on the VMO, working on the quads and the leg in general. Now we're thinking about the hamstrings that attach into the back of the knee here. Really important muscle for controlling the knee. Heels on the ball, toes pointing up. We're just going to do a shoulder bridge and curl back down. So here's the Pilates side coming in a little bit. We want to pick up one vertebra at a time. Pick up one vertebra at a time, up to the top, feet go flat, and curl back down. Couple more. Good, last one. Good, and then we're gonna start rolling the roll, rolling the ball out and in once we're up there. So if we tuck under, curl up, roll out, pull back in, roll back down, start with that one. Tuck under, roll up, roll out, pull back in and down and then when you get a bit braver you do your single leg so we could do it to kind of roll up position the right heel in the middle pick up the other one out in foot down curl down there's your intermediate phase to kind of roll up place the left heel in the middle other leg up out in curl back down and then of course you can do repetitive ones <laughs> with one leg at a time. Let's see if we can demonstrate this. Curl up, one leg up, out and in. Good. Of course, you can cross your hands across your chest so you've got a little bit less um, support on the floor if you can there. All right, so there's a few ideas for the next stage of your knee rehab. Hopefully, if you've got to this stage, you're very close to getting back into, um, into full sport or just living a normal life without any knee pain. So remember to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like this video, then click like and share um, and make a comment.